Introductions and small talk. Formal greetings. Good morning, Professor Austin. How are you doing? Good morning, James. I'm doing well. And you? I'm great, thank you. This is my friend Emma. She is thinking about applying to this college. She has a few questions. Would you mind telling us about the process, please? Hello, Emma. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm more than happy to speak with you. Please stop by my office next week. It's a pleasure to meet you, Professor. Thank you so much for helping us. Don't mention it. Hopefully, I will be able to answer your questions. Informal greetings and farewells. Hi, Helen. How's it going? Fine, thanks. And you? Just fine. Where are you off to? To the library. I've got a history exam next week and need to start studying. Ugh. Oh no. Well, I'll see you later then. Good luck. Thanks. See you later. Formal introductions. Mr. Wilson, I'd like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Smith. Pleasure to meet you too. Dr. Smith is an economist. He just finished writing a book on international trade. Oh, that's my field too. I work for the United Nations. In the development program, by any chance? Yes. How did you guess? I've read your articles on technical assistance. They're excellent. Informal introductions. Who's the tall woman next to Barbara? That's her friend Mary. Didn't you meet her at Steve's party? No, I wasn't at Steve's party. Oh, then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my friend Jim. Hi, Jim. Nice to meet you. You too. Would you like a drink? Sure. Let's go get one. What time is it? What time is it? We're going to be late. It's a quarter after seven. We're on time. Don't panic. But I thought we had to be at the restaurant by seven thirty for the surprise party. We'll never make it there with all this evening traffic. Sure, we will. Rush hour is almost over. Anyway, the party starts at eight. But I do need help with directions. Can you call the restaurant and ask them where we park our car? A telephone call. Hi, Alice. It's John. How are you? Oh, hi, John. I was just thinking about you. <laughs> That's nice. I was wondering if you'd like to go to a movie tonight. Sure, I'd love to. What's playing? I was thinking about that new comedy, Lights Out. What do you think? Sounds great. Okay, I'll pick you up around seven thirty. The movie starts at eight. See you then. Bye. Can you say that again? Hello. Hi, Stephanie. How are things at the office? Hi, Luke. How are you? Can you please stop and pick up extra paper for the computer printer? What did you say? Can you repeat that, please? Did you say pick up ink for the printer? Sorry, the phone is cutting out. Can you hear me now? No, I need more computer paper. Listen, I'll text you exactly what I need. Thanks, Luke. Talk to you later. Thanks, Stephanie. Sorry, my phone has really bad reception here. Coincidences. Well, hello there, Julia. Long time no see. Meg, hi. What a coincidence! I haven't seen you in ages. What are you doing here? I just got a new job in the city, so I'm shopping for some clothes. Hey, what do you think of this shirt? Hmm. Well, you know how much I love blue. See, I've got the same shirt. You always did have good taste. What a small world. Weather report. 
It's freezing outside. What happened to the weather report? I thought this cold front was supposed to pass. Yeah, I thought so too. That's what I read online this morning. I guess the wind chill is really driving down the temperature. Can we go inside? I feel like my toes are starting to go numb. Around town, ordering a meal. Hello, I'll be your waiter today. Can I start you off with something to drink? Yes, I'll have iced tea, please. And I'll have lemonade. Okay. Are you ready to order, or do you need a few minutes? I think we're ready. I'll have the tomato soup to start, and the roast beef with mashed potatoes and peas. How do you want the beef? Rare, medium, or well done? Well done, please. And I'll just have the fish with potatoes and a salad. At the doctor's office. What seems to be the problem? Well, I have a bad cough and a sore throat. I also have a headache. How long have you had these symptoms? About three days now, and I'm really tired too. Hmm. Sounds like you've got the flu. Take aspirin every four hours and get plenty of rest. Make sure you drink lots of fluids. Call me if you're still sick next week. Okay. Thanks. Asking directions. Excuse me, could you tell me where the library is? Yes, it's that way. You go three blocks to Washington Street, then turn right. It's on the corner, across from the bank. Thanks. I've only been in town a few days, so I really don't know my way around yet. Oh, I know how you feel. We moved here a year ago, and I still don't know where everything is. Calling for help. Hey, that car just ran a red light and hit that truck. Is anyone hurt? I don't know. Let's call nine one one. Hello. I'd like to report a car accident near the post office on Charles Street. It looks like a man is hurt. Yes, it just happened. Okay, thanks. Bye. What did they say? They're going to send an ambulance and a police car right away. Good, they're here. I hope the man is okay. I know. You have to be so careful when you're driving. At the supermarket. Hey, Julia. Look at those desserts. How about baking some cookies today? Hmm. Yeah, that's a great idea. While we're here, let's pick up the ingredients. Okay. What do we need? The recipe calls for flour, sugar, and butter. Oh, and we also need eggs and chocolate chips. Why don't you get the dairy ingredients? You'll find those in the refrigerated section in the back of the store. I'll get the dry ingredients. They're in aisle ten. Great. Let's meet at the checkout. Okay. See you there. Running errands. Hi there. How can I help you? Well, I'm in town visiting for a few days, and I need to get some things done while I'm here. Sure. What do you need? I need to get my hair cut. I also need to have my new pants hemmed. Okay. Here's a map of the city. There's a good hair salon here, which is just a block away, and there's a tailor right here. Is there anything else? Yes, I'll need to have my car serviced before my long drive home. <laughs> no problem. There's a good mechanic a few blocks away. At the post office. What can I do for you today? I need to mail this package to New York, please. Okay. Let's see how much it weighs. It's about five pounds. If you send it express, it will get there tomorrow, or you can send it priority, and it will get there by Saturday. Saturday is fine. How much will that be? Eleven thirty-five. Do you need anything else? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I need a book of stamps too. 
Okay, your total comes to $20.35. Catching up after class. Hey, how did your physics exam go? Not bad, thanks. I'm just glad it's over. How about you? How'd your presentation go? Oh, it went really well. Thanks for helping me with it. No problem. So, do you feel like studying tomorrow for our math exam? Yeah, sure. Come over around 10 o'clock after breakfast. All right. I'll bring my notes. Shopping. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a sweater in a size medium. Let's see, here's a nice white one. What do you think? I think I'd rather have it in blue. Okay, here's blue in a medium. Would you like to try it on? Okay. Yes, I love it. It fits perfectly. How much is it? It's $50. It will be $53 with tax. Perfect. I'll take it. Transportation. Should we take a taxi or a bus to the mall? Let's take a bus. It's impossible to get a taxi during rush hour. Isn't that a bus stop over there? Yes. Oh, there's a bus now. We'll have to run to catch it. Oh, no. We just missed it. No problem. There will be another one in 10 minutes. Pastimes and activities. How old are you? I'm really excited for Aunt Mary's surprise birthday party this afternoon. Aren't you? Yeah. How old is she? She'll be 55 on May 14th. Wow. I didn't know that my mom was older. She's going to be 57 on September 2nd. Anyway, Aunt Mary's going to be so surprised to see us all here. I know, but we still have to get all the food set up before she gets here. Okay, we're all ready now. Shh, she's here. Surprise! At the movies. We'd like two tickets for the 3.30 show, please. Here you go. Enjoy the movie. Would you mind moving over one so my friend and I can sit together? No, not at all. Thanks a lot. What are you good at? So, what should we do? Well, I like to do arts and crafts, and I'm really good at drawing. What do you think? Hmm, how about playing a board game? That'd be more fun. Okay, let's play Scrabble. I'm really good at spelling, too. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> What's your favorite sport? What time is that soccer game on? I thought it started at noon. We must have had the wrong time. Oh, well. Soccer's not my favorite sport anyway. I much prefer basketball. Oh, really? I thought your favorite sport was tennis. I'm a big fan of basketball, too. How about a game sometime? Sure thing. Why don't we go shoot some hoops now, since the soccer game isn't on? Excellent idea. Let's go. A night at the theater. What a fantastic performance. Thank you for inviting me to the musical. You are welcome. I'm happy you enjoyed the show. The choreography of the dancers was incredible. It reminds me of when I used to dance. I know. You were such a talented ballerina. Do you miss dancing? Oh, that's very kind of you, Shannon. I do miss it sometimes. But I will always be a fan of the arts. That's why I love going to musicals, because it's the perfect combination of song, dance, and theater. Absolutely. I'm glad you're still an art fan, too. Thank you for the invitation. It's always a pleasure to attend an arts event with you and learn something new. Taking a Vacation 
I just bought a ticket to New York City. I'm so excited to see the city. Good for you. Traveling is so much fun. I love discovering new places and new people. When are you leaving? Next week. I'm taking the red eye. It was cheaper. Hopefully, I'll be able to sleep on the plane. I wish I could go with you. New York City is a magical place. You'll have so much fun. I hope so. I'm going to visit my brother who lives there. I will stay for a week and then take the train down to Washington D.C. That sounds like a great vacation. I'm looking forward to a week at the beach for my summer vacation. I just want to relax. At the pet store. Oh, what a beautiful cat! What do you think? I think I'd rather get a dog. Dogs are more loyal than cats. Yes, but there's so much work. Would you be willing to walk it every single day and clean up after it? Hmm. Good point. What about a bird or a fish? We'd have to invest a lot of money in a cage or a fish tank, and I really don't know how to take care of a bird or a fish. Well, we're obviously not ready to get a pet yet. Yeah, you're right. Let's go grab some coffee and talk about it. Giving your opinion. Where should we take a vacation this year? Let's decide soon. Well, I'd like to go somewhere warm. How about the beach? Or we could rent a cabin on the lake. You want to go to the beach again? <laughs> I want to ski this winter. How about a compromise? What about traveling to the Alps in Europe next April? We can find a ski resort on a lake. Oh, we've never been to Europe before, but I don't know if it will be sunny and warm then. I need to do some research first. That will help me make up my mind. Hobbies. I'm so happy this week of midterm exams is finished. Same here. I'm looking forward to relaxing in the mountains this weekend. I've planned a little hike in the woods, and I'm going to take a canoe trip down the river if the weather cooperates. Oh, fun! I'm going to Michigan. I'm taking my camera because fall is coming fast. The leaves are already turning all shades of red and orange. It will be awesome. Next time you go there, I'll join you. I've heard Michigan is a great place to go canoeing. Weddings. Doesn't the bride look beautiful in that wedding dress? Yes, she looks amazing, and the groom is so romantic. I just heard the story of how they got engaged. He proposed to her during a candlelight dinner in London. Did you know that was where they went to school? Oh, wonderful! And the honeymoon. What a great idea! Most people just go to the beach for a week after they tie the knot, but they plan on heading to California and cruising the coast on their motorcycle. Really, what a fantastic idea! This is by far the best wedding I've ever been to. Giving advice. Thanks for meeting with me during your lunch hour. I appreciate it. No problem. I'm happy to help. What's going on? Oh, you know the usual. Should I take this new job or do I stick with my current one? Well, I think it's time for a change, don't you? They pay you late, and you are unhappy. Do you really think so? I know so, and I've been listening to you complain for over a year now. Trust me, take the job. What do you have to lose? Thank、you